Hey guys, Kirk here from Acid Bite, and today I'm gonna to show you our new tunnel transition pack. And let me just say, we are super proud and super excited to bring you guys this one. We put a lot of research and time into the usability of these transitions and the design, and I think we came up with something really remarkable and something that gives you guys a ton of opportunities to create amazing transitions. So let's jump into it. So with this pack, you get full CG pre-keyed tunnels that you can drag and drop straight into your timeline. And they're super simple to use, guys. They come in a variety of textures from liquid organic to a sort of stony crystalline structure. So you always have the right texture for your footage. And we also always provide a variety of paths. So there's a straight line, a curve, and this one where the camera rotates around and changes direction inside the tunnel. So you get the freedom there to choose the one that fits your footage best. And this is really useful if you're gonna zoom in on your first piece of footage and then come out of the second piece with a zoom out. In that situation, the rotation shot is, is amazing. So on top of that, each tunnel comes with a custom piece of sound design by Yulin Lindman. And also we need to give a big shout out to Johannes Kamera, who's an amazing VFX artist and actually created these tunnels for us. So I want to transition between these two shots here. And as you can see in the second shot, we're moving backwards. And because the direction of the momentum is going to reverse, I want to find one of those rotation shots. And I'm looking for one here where the texture of the tunnel matches the ring somewhat. So something kind of crystalline. And like I mentioned before, we have this one here. So I'm just going to grab that and drag it onto the timeline where my two clips are. And I'm going to take the second clip and move it to the end of the tunnel transition. So what we want to do is zoom in to this first shot, into the eye. And what we're going to do is make a keyframe animation using the scale and position keyframes. So as it scales up, you'll see that the eye sort of moves within the frame. So you need to use the position keyframes to keep it lined up to the start of the tunnel. And keep in mind that you'll need a little overlap between your two shots, the tunnel and the eye, so that you can see them both at the same time. So now with the first part of the transition working pretty well, we're going to move on to the next clip and we're going to do the opposite. So we're going to start with this shot of the ring scaled up super large and then we're going to use our scale and position keyframes to match it to the end of the tunnel and then zoom out to the actual size of the clip. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. Uh, one thing that we can do to help the tunnel merge better with our footage is adjust the color of it a little bit because you'll see on the on the black ring there's a sort of green hue, a green reflection to it. So if we can bring that into the tunnel, it'll help us. And to do this, guys, we're going to use the Lumetri color effect. So once you add the Lumetri color effect, we're going to go into the basic corrections and just tweak this uh, tint and temperature a little bit. So I'm going to make the temperature more blue and the tint a little more green. And this is basically the quick and dirty way to do these transitions. And listen, this already looks great, but we can take this a step further. So let me show you with another example. So, I've got two new shots here that I'd like to transition between. And so, again, what I'm going to do is start by finding the tunnel that has the best texture to fit this image. And I think that the bonus tunnel works really well because it's nice and abstract and that's going to fit these clips well. And this time, uh, as soon as I've decided on the tunnel that I want to use, I'm going to start adjusting the color so it fits our clip a little better. So I'm trying to match this golden yellow tint of his sunglasses. So again, we're going to grab our Lumetri color and we're going to adjust the temperature and the hue until we find what we're looking for. And after that, I'm going to grab the transform effect. And this effect is super useful because we can also use it to create zooms, but we can add motion blur to that. So within the effect, we still have our scale and position keyframes, which we used on the first example, but we also have this shutter angle option. And if we push that really far, we can add a ton of blur to the zoom in. 
So the more that you zoom in in a short amount of time, the more motion blur will be added to the image. And you can see that really well now. And next, to sweeten this up even a little bit more, we're going to add the lens distortion effect. So the point of this effect is to create a little more anticipation before the zoom starts. And we're going to do this by deforming the image somewhat. So we're going to create a pair of curvature keyframes a couple frames before the zoom starts. And on the second keyframe, you're going to pull it into the negative. And once you do that, you're going to see this, this warping happens to the image. So you guys should make sure to just customize the curvature for your image. Uh, in this case, I'm going to go pretty heavy. So as you can see now, we have this uh, lens distortion or deforming of the image right before the zoom starts. And I think that really helps uh, the transition just feel more natural. So at this point, there's just one thing left to do, and I'm sure you guys have been noticing it. Uh, the start of the tunnel animation is still super sharp and clear, and it looks a little weird sitting on top of the footage. So we're going to do one more thing, and I'm going to grab one of our light transitions from our wipe and light transitions pack. And you can use any kind of light overlay for this. It doesn't have to be ours, but I think in this situation, the ones that we made work really well, actually. So now that I've chosen my light transition, I'm going to place it at the front uh, where the tunnel starts to appear. And I'm going to change the blending mode to screen. And then what I'm going to do is just uh, adjust the color and the contrast a little bit in Lumetri Color again. And once I have that sorted out, we're pretty much good. And the only thing left to do is adjust the end of the transition. So for this, I'm going to go and use the scale and position keyframes again. And I'm just going to create a little animation that scales up the clip to its full size at the end of the tunnel. And with that, it's done, guys. Uh, we have a beautiful tunnel transition. And we did the whole thing just by using built-in um, effects and controls that you have in Premiere. And so this is the method that I came up with to do this kind of effect. But of course, you can customize this. You can play around with it. You can add more or less distortion, um, whatever you need to make it work for your footage. So we're really looking forward to see what you guys come up with. I'm so grateful again, as always, for you downloading this and watching. And I'll see you guys next time.